everyone and welcome to your March 2016 tarot reading. My name is Nikki. Before I begin, I would like to thank you all for your likes, for your shares, for your comments on my videos. I've enjoyed um, reading all your positive comments and I feel very grateful and humble for all your support. I'd like to thank you for subscribing and for those of you who have purchased my services, thank you. Okay, so this month you may notice that I'm doing something slightly different than I do every other month. Um, instead of doing the 12 signs, I'm just doing um, the four types of signs. Water, earth, air, and fire. This video is focused solely on the water signs. That would be Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And I'm doing this just because of restrictions in time, some changes to my personal schedule, and um, and hopefully uh, you still like it. So, um, and and this may be something that I continue to do, um, or something, or I may just go back to the 12 videos. We'll see. We'll see how how things go. Okay. So this month um, I am resonating with the gemstone of jade. Jade is a very joyful stone, and it comes in many different colors. The most common one is green, and um, it is a symbol of good fortune, good luck, friendship, love, and virtue. And if you're interested in learning more about Jade, I'm going to be doing a video on it very soon. And if I have it done by the time this video is up, I will link it in the description below. And if you're interested in learning about gemstones in in general, I have a handful of videos about different types of gemstones on a playlist at my YouTube channel. And I also have a second website called Crystal Channels where you can learn um, about different gemstones in more deep um, detail. Um, and I will have that website linked in the description below. Okay, so I've already shuffled and meditated over the cards and we're going to see what kind of universal energies uh, for you water signs uh, the cards have to to offer you. Okay, we're going week by week for the month of March. And this first card, let's see if I got that lined up okay. I think we can scoot them over a little bit. This first card is the Magician in Reverse for the first week of March. Now the Magician is in Reverse can be a block of creativity, some kind of block of power. You may have trouble um, creating, coming up with ideas. You may feel stifled. Your energy levels may feel weaker than normal. And the magician can also be kind of a trickster. This could be, um, this could be somebody else influencing your life at this time. This could be somebody coming in and manipulating you. Um, and this could be you manipulating situations. Uh, you could be using what power you do have in a negative way. So that would be manipulation or tricking somebody or um, having somebody think something that uh, they otherwise wouldn't if it wasn't for what you said or what you've done or what, you know, your your aim may not be um, sincere. So be aware of others coming in and um, pulling the wool over your eyes. The people in your life at this time, make sure that these are people that you can trust. And if, if the magician is yourself, uh, try, to, try to think positively on yourself 
on others, on any kind of situation at hand. Try to see the glass half full instead of half empty. That way um, your aim will be true and sincere and not negative. Maybe we can flip this card upright. But it, if, if it's not yourself, all you can do is be, be aware of it and be watchful for it. With the second card for the second week, you have the High Priestess in reverse. This card has a very similar meaning with the first. So I feel like this energy is carrying through for two weeks. And it's an energy of being out of touch. Out of touch with the normal power that you have. With the normal control that you have. Out of touch with, this, with spirituality. Perhaps you haven't had the time to pray or meditate or, or just stop and think about, um, think about things, you know, uh, stop and think about how grateful you are for whatever it is in your life. I feel that things will be busy in the first two weeks and you won't have much control over the circumstances at hand. And any control that you do have may be misused. And any kind of creativity, projects, things of that sort that, that you are trying to put forth may be stifled. You may have bad dreams in the second week, or you may not dream at all. You may be searching for answers, but the answers just aren't there you're not able to see them at this time. So there is definitely some kind of mystical veil that is put in front of you for the first half of the month. It's disconnecting you to your intuition. You may lack imagination. Now the third week you have the Six of Wands upright. So there's some recognition going on in the third week. There's some pats on the back or some congratulations So I feel like the first half of the month, the energy is completely different than the energy for the second half of the month. Two completely different energies going on here. So you'll definitely be doing something great whether you realize it or not in the third week of March. And people are recognizing you. This could be some kind of big achievement or some kind of small achievement, just like, hey, good job. And for the last week of the month, you have the Four of Swords, which is all about rest and relaxation. It's about taking some time out. So perhaps whatever you did in that fourth, or I'm sorry, in the third week, it was either exhausting or, you know, by, by the fourth week, you just have some time on your hands. But taking time out, it's always a great thing. It's, it's, a, it's needed from time to time to think, to meditate, to hopefully get these energies that you have in the, in the first half of the month flipped back upright 
it's getting more in touch with with who you are with the world around you being more in tune with your intuition any kind of answers spiritual or emotional that you have been questioning hopefully will start to come in by the end of the month and start to be answered well that is your reading in its entirety I hope that you found it helpful if you did please push that like button and subscribe because I do this every month and if you are interested in a personal reading just for yourself, you can always visit my website. I will be very happy to fulfill those services, and I will talk to you all next month. Bye-bye.